Hi there, welcome to QA Box and this new series about mastering XPath for UI automation testing. Okay, so in this video, we are going to talk about XPath operator. So we have used text function through which we can identify the text nodes, all right, and therein we have used the equal to sign. So that symbol or sign is nothing, it's an operator. So there are many more operators available into XPath and we are going to see those in this video. So broadly, you can categorize uh, those uh, operators into two. So one is your mathematical operators, right? So herein, we can perform equal to, greater than, less than, less than equal to, right? Greater than equal to, not equal to. And these two, are the logical operator so or how does it work we know that right so we have true and false that is equal to true so you know just one condition has to be true to evaluate the results result to true or expression to true that's how or work and in case of n if one is true and other one is false the result is always false so both should be true to evaluate the expression to true that's how things work right and so we are going to see all of these into action in this video okay so now this is the control section that we are going to use and you can see that you know here are the different uh, uh, rows and then you have different columns so what i want to do is i want to find out how many rows are there in this table whose age is let's say greater than 19 so there are two if you have such a case then write so you can write this x path and that is going to solve your problem so let me open the console and so let us inspect this okay so the console is open and here what you have to do is so all you're going to say is how are you going to find this right so this is a text so this text is there inside a td all right so if just you just click on that so you see that this is a text node right it is between these two td it's a text node so we are going to use the function text here right so how are we going to write our xpath we are going to say td okay and then those square brackets and here and we are using the text function and we are going to say equal to 19 then it is going to find that respective record but if i say greater than 19 so you could see that two records are being written and that's how you can check that you know your table has two records when the age is greater than 19 right so that's how you can do it or what you can um, use is now you can use the or here as well so you can say where text uh, function okay and you can say age is greater than 29 okay so now why are you getting two results back because because of this you are getting two results and because of this you are getting one so you get the superset right so you get both the records let us see more examples so we can also do let's say less than uh, 29 so there is just only one record all right and therefore that is being highlighted what else do we have in here so um, let's now uh, look at the example for or an and okay so what i want to do is where text is equal to 19 okay or okay i think we have already done that <coughs> um Okay, so now herein you could see that we have got these two uh, div elements, right? And what are we going to do here is we are going to say we want to find out all the divs. Okay, that is one way, but now you are finding you see that there are five divs, right? So what are you going to do next? You are going to say where id is equal to and not this, you have this is an attribute, so you have to say id equal to and what is the id demo? okay so i'm going to say demo right this is going to find one but you want to find both of these right so this one and this one so how are you going to do that so you're going to say uh, or class gain at the rate class equal to and you're going to say back 
okay so now you could see that you can successfully identify both of these controls so by using the or condition so what else do we have let us identify these okay so we have got div id is equal to one and div class is div c so if we say this right we see two right because because of this one this one is identified right and because of this div c this one is highlighted right or selected so if you do the end see what will happen so you get only one okay and there's another way you can use this end so how you can do that so what are you going to do is you're going to end this here and then open it again so that is again how you are going to write end okay so we have covered these different operators we have covered or and end and we have used this syntax as well so that is about operators in xpark thank you so much